Over the past several weeks, Tesla's careers page has been quietly hinting at a significant development. Dozens of job listings for delivery preparation specialists have surfaced, strongly suggesting that the company is bracing for an exceptionally busy Q3 and Q4. This kind of hiring typically signals one thing, a major production ramp-up in response to increased demand. Speculation is mounting that this surge could be tied to the long-anticipated Tesla Model 2, a new electric vehicle expected to disrupt the EV market with an attractive price point, innovative design, and groundbreaking technology. The Tesla Model 2, slated for a possible 2026 release, is shaping up to be a game-changer in the affordable EV space. One of its most impressive rumored capabilities is a range of 300 to 400 miles per charge, a feat that could be made possible through a combination of cutting-edge battery technology and vehicle design. One of the most significant innovations here is structural battery composites, SBCs, which were recently recognized by the World Economic Forum as one of 2025's top emerging technologies. These materials serve a dual function acting both as part of the vehicle's structural framework and as an energy storage solution. Research from Chalmers University in Sweden has shown that SBCs can now deliver energy densities around 30 Wh per kilogram while maintaining extreme stiffness and durability, up to 76 GPa and over 1,000 charge cycles. By incorporating SBCs into the chassis, Tesla could reduce overall vehicle weight by approximately 10%, which in turn may improve driving range by up to 70%. Simultaneously, advancements in solid-state aluminum ion batteries are further enhancing potential range and safety. Unlike traditional lithium-ion cells, these new batteries have demonstrated the ability to retain over 99% of their capacity after 10,000 charging cycles. They are also thermally stable up to 392 degrees Fahrenheit, resistant to puncture and fire, and made from recyclable materials like aluminum fluoride frameworks. When combined, SBCs and solid-state aluminum ion technology could allow the Model 2 to offer not just superior range, but also a lighter, safer, and more cost-effective vehicle. Tesla is also working on reducing energy loss during idle periods. A new, low-power mode is expected for the Model 2, designed to minimize energy drain when the vehicle is parked. This feature pauses non-essential functions such as sentry mode, summon standby, cabin preconditioning, and various background operations. In testing, a 60 kWh battery pack in low-power mode loses only about 2-3% charge over 72 hours, roughly 0.4-0.6 to kWh per day, compared to 5-7% to without it. This implies an average standby consumption of just 17 to 25 watts, a major improvement over the typical 42 to 58 watts. However, enabling sentry mode can push this standby power draw to 150 to 250 watts, consuming 3.6 to 6.0 kilowatt hour daily. For long-term parking, disabling sentry mode in secure locations and turning on low power mode could greatly reduce energy loss. Design is another critical factor in maximizing range. The aerodynamic profile of the Model 2 will be more than just aesthetic, it plays a crucial role in energy efficiency. Air resistance increases exponentially with speed, so minimizing drag is vital. Tesla's Model 3 already achieves a drag coefficient of 0.23, but if the Model 2 improves upon that and reaches 0.21 with a slightly smaller frontal area, around 2.1 to 2.2 square meters, the energy consumption at 70 miles per hour could drop from 226 watt-hours per mile to as low as 207 watt-hours per mile, an 8% improvement. Strategic design elements like a smooth roofline, flush door handles, underbody panels, rear diffusers, and active grill shutters can all contribute. Even tire selection matters, low rolling resistance tires alone could improve efficiency by another 6%. These cumulative optimizations may allow a 60 kWh battery pack to stretch from a 300-mile range to nearly 330 miles on highways. The Model 2 will also benefit from regenerative braking, especially in urban driving. When decelerating, the motor shifts to generator mode, converting kinetic energy back into electricity and feeding it into the battery. 
Real-world data shows that city driving can recover 10 to 15 percent of energy that would otherwise be lost as heat. With a 60 kilowatt-hour battery and an average consumption of 200 wh mile, this could mean reclaiming up to 6 kilowatt hours, or roughly 30 miles of additional range. In optimal conditions, regenerative braking could boost range by up to 50 miles, making a 300 to 400 mile estimate far more realistic under daily driving scenarios. In terms of build, the Model 2 is expected to strike a balance between strength and simplicity. A hybrid body structure using both aluminum and high-strength steel allows for a lighter yet rigid frame. Aluminum, being only about one-third the density of steel, can reduce overall body weight by 8 to 12 percent when used in exterior panels. Meanwhile, ultra-high-strength steel with tensile strength between 500 and 1,200 megapascals will likely be used in critical areas like the B-pillars and floor beams to enhance torsional rigidity to 30 to 35 kilopascals per degree. Not only does this improve ride quality and crash safety, but aluminum also resists corrosion naturally, with galvanic corrosion between metals mitigated by coatings and isolators. Safety is further enhanced by crash zones engineered to absorb energy and reduce peak impact forces by up to 25%. Adaptive LED headlights are another forward-looking feature. Consuming only 20 to 30 watts compared to 55 watts for halogens, these lights extend visibility by up to 30% without compromising efficiency. Matrix beam systems allow high beams to remain active more often without dazzling other drivers, which improves nighttime reaction distances and reduces accident risk. Studies suggest such lighting can reduce nighttime crash risks by 7 to 10 percent. Internally, the Model 2 will adopt a minimalist design philosophy centered around a central touchscreen and minimal physical buttons. Traditional buttons tend to wear out after 50,000 to 100,000 presses, while software-based and capacitive controls last much longer. The interface is designed for quick, distraction-free operation, most common tasks like adjusting climate or setting navigation can be done in just two or three steps. Voice assistants like Grok, if implemented, could reduce eyes off-road time by 20-30% to 30 by allowing voice control for key functions. Regular over-the-air updates further reduce maintenance visits by fixing minor bugs and adding new features remotely. From a practical standpoint, Tesla is aiming to keep the Model 2 user-friendly. With a wheelbase expected to fall between 2,650 and 2,700 mm, the vehicle could offer front headroom of up to 1,020 mm and rear headroom up to 980 mm. A flat floor design allows for easy access with a step-in height around 450 mm, while the cargo area, sitting at a convenient 680 to 720 mm load height, makes loading luggage easier. Fold-down rear seats in a 60-40 split can increase cargo space by up to 30%, potentially reaching 1,000 to 1,200 liters. Interior materials like TPO and synthetic leathers coated with nano-anti-stain layers are built to last, capable of withstanding over 50,000 Martindale abrasion cycles, making the cabin durable and easy to clean over years of use. The Model 2 is also engineered for low ownership costs without sacrificing performance. It's likely to feature a permanent magnet synchronous motor, known for high efficiency, usually in the 94 to 97 percent range, and minimal rotor loss. Pairing it with a silicon carbide inverter further reduces energy waste, cutting switching losses by 5 to 10 percent compared to older silicon IGBT systems. On flat highways at 70 miles per hour, the Model 2 might only require 18 to 22 kilowatts of power to maintain speed. At 95% efficiency, that equates to an energy use of 14 to 16 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers, better than many entry-level EVs that consume 17 to 19 kilowatt hours. A single speed reduction gear system eliminates the complexity and maintenance issues of traditional automatic transmissions. With fewer moving parts, just gears, bearings, and a differential, this setup is not only efficient, 97 to 98%, but also highly reliable. Regenerative braking further reduces wear on physical brakes, potentially cutting pad wear by 50 to 90 percent. Over five years, Model 2 owners could save hundreds on brake and transmission maintenance, 
avoiding major repairs that plague IC vehicles like torque converter failures. Tesla's latest Vision hardware will also be included. High dynamic range forward cameras, near 120 dB, enhance visibility in harsh lighting. The trifocal camera setup, combining long, medium, and wide fields of view. Along with 76 to 81 gigahertz millimeter wave radar, will support features like automatic emergency braking, lane keeping, and adaptive cruise control. These safety systems significantly lower accident risks, rear-end collisions alone drop by up to 40% with emergency braking enabled, and also help save energy by minimizing erratic driving behavior. Finally, Tesla's high-volume manufacturing strategy is a key part of making the Model 2 accessible. Gigacasting machines in the 6,000 to 9,000 ton range can stamp large body sections in a single piece, reducing the number of parts, welds, and assembly time. When combined with a structural